Terry. And I love getting to see some Terry Bogard. We don't really have a lot of them in the Midwest, I feel like. So you're definitely going to have to lead on the Terry knowledge here. But uh, character silly. That's what I can tell you. Fair enough. <laughs> I get, knew that much. Get plenty of Mega Man back home, right? We've got uh, uh, Pete Bro, Pete from Monomonoguchi, one of the best Mega Man players in the world, which is just a great sentence that I get to say. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, Grumpy showing that, that that's, a, that's a tough running, right? There are a lot of people in that running already immediately. Tons of clean gameplay, just taking a smattering of damage before dispatching that first stock from Zane. Really clean stuff in that stock, number one. Yeah, the edge guards are going to be brutal from Grompy. Able to use the, the back air to cover high recoveries and then using the, the down air to cover low recoveries. So it's going to be really hard for Zane to, to hold on to his stock. If he does get hit off stage, it's going to be very imperative that he stays on stage. But with how consistent that Grompy is able to get these grabs, Ooh. it doesn't seem like it's going to be an easy feat. I love Zane right there being really, really aware of, okay, that Z drop Metal Blade, I have to DI in because if I DI out on it, trying to get away from any potential combos, I'm actually playing right into Grompy. His hand, and I'm gonna get down there for my troubles. No confirmed, trying to go for a crazy read, which honestly, to get back into the game, I respect it, but Grumpy does not. Immediately getting right back into the thing with that up tilt, taking that three stock to one lead, Metal Blade right back in hand. That up smash read would have worked on me. I immediately thought that Grumpy <laughs> was gonna dash in and try to grab him again, but yeah, I, I like that read from him. He's definitely gonna need something like that in order to get himself back into this game. Trying to find the back air there instead, but again, Grumpy just so consistent with these back throws off stage. Super patient here as well. Tries to drop the Metal Blade on the shield into back air. Ooh, okay. The no, no text right there, and honestly, that back air is very difficult to tech. Yeah. It comes out quick, it's got very quick multi hits. So, that was a skill check, and unfortunately, the Mega Man experience not coming through. And you okay. can't always blame somebody for that because do we have player microphones? Sorry for the ADHD, I, I just realized I can hear, hear yeah. them talking. That's awesome. I love getting to hear that. <laughs> he like leans over, he's like, just so you know, you're actually bad at the game. You only want <laughs> I gave you that game one. <laughs> I'd love to hear I'm that. coming back with fire in this one. <laughs> Watch your back. All right, changing up the stage. Battlefield for game number two. Definitely a lot better for Terry, right? Not going to be as much space for Mega Man to kind of run away from you. But, I mean, I think the biggest thing is just, like, understanding that matchup, understanding what the big openings are for Mega Man, playing around those and using the spots where that's not what Mega Man's going for to really get in there. That's what Zane's gotten off to for a good start right here. 57 clean percent. See if he can turn it into a kill. Okay, catches off the platform with the fair. Using the fair as a, a spacing tool as well, and it's working out really well for him. Just not giving Terry that space to get in, to get those combos that we typically see from him. Not able to get the jab into Power Dunk or any of those nice confirms for Terry. Ooh, goes above the ledge there. That can be scary for him. Able to make it back, and Grumpy missing that grab for once, but able to get the F smash instead. Yeah, and a couple of predictable recoveries right here from Zane have been eaten alive by Grumpy. Also, immediately, there's been no delay in getting off the Angel platform, so Grumpy's just immediately been throwing out that Crash Bomber to stick on you because it'll stick to you even if you're invincible. As long as your ECB is there, it will stick to you. We've got 125% built up on Grumpy, so again, like you're saying, as long as Zane can get up close, this little jab, jab, power dunk could be all it takes. And looking for it there, going into Ooh. the rising tackle, it does take the Mega Man off the top. Great stuff from Zane. Yeah, definitely some great ad adaptations here. Has been able to stay on stage a little bit longer, and so holding on to our stocks a little bit longer, and giving him the opportunities to find these high damage output that we have typically from Terry. Woo. I love the use of the Nair to yeah. ledge trap right here. Just controlling space, not even necessarily fishing for combos off of it like you normally see with that move. It's just, hey, you keep trying to drift in, and I'm checking you for that. Can we Get talk about the, the shield damage of that up air? Oh, yeah. Crazy. Uh, it, it does a lot. Answered question. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like I know, I know we're not quite in Tornado Alley, but it must feel that way. It's close enough. It's it's close like enough. They get a, over. They get a few out here. Ooh. Out there once again, getting a confirm off of it even as well. Go mode active, but remains to be seen if it will be relevant to this stock. Power dunk does change up that timing on landing. So Zane. Another chance to be able to maybe even use that go mode, although I figure, yeah, jab into the rising tackle will do it again. Taking the lead here against Grompy, really solid stuff in this game number two. 
Right, like this patient that we're seeing from Grumpy. Is he able to get the stock off of the ledge? Love the use of the platform there to recover back to center stage, just not even dealing with the uh, ah. the aerials from Grumpy, but able to get that back throw off stage. Ooh, barely nice. making it back. Yeah, really good spacing on that recovery. Enough back airs finally does send Zane into the blast zone, but getting off that angel platform and a nice timing, avoiding that crash bomber setup to just burn through your invincibility as well. Loving it, but Grumpy back with a fire. Stuff is even right now in the second stock and it's slowly turning into Mega Man favor. Ooh, okay. Sending off stage, tries to catch the landing there with that Nair that has been getting a lot of mileage in this game, but not able to get it. Grumpy sending off stage once again, catches with the back air. This could be very scary if he's able to get that Metal Blade extension. Not able to find it, but making it really hard for Zane to get in again using that fair. But this is a big opportunity for him. You see that back throw, gotta be careful of that power geyser at any moment. Probably not the Buster Wolf because Mega Man does cover the ground unless it's comboed into Are You Okay? Just barely. Mega Man <laughs> said, I'm hanging on by a thread, my man. Ooh, okay. Tries to get the back air there. Love that cross up. Drop down. Whoa! Holy crap. These recoveries have been insane this game. <laughs> I'm amazed that Grumpy went all the way off stage like that. Zane, that's not a punishable move at that height. Really well spaced. Zane taking us to game number three. That was insane adaptation. I honestly, after that first game, I was like, it seems like Grumpy's definitely got the the reads on the um, offstage recoveries. It's just going to be really hard to to bring this back and win this set. But Zane played amazing that game. Mm -hmm. Did a really good job of controlling space, mm -hmm. I feel like, right? Not letting... Grumpy go for any like big setups into the damage, right? Even the couple times that he found himself in disadvantage, fought out of it really well. And then the damage output from Zayn in that game was really, really solid. Had a lot of the confirms on deck. We saw it right there. Just, hey, build you up to that 120, 130, and then all I need is a jab to finish this. Yeah, jab, jab into up B was the MVP of that game for sure. Uh huh. Back to Pokemon Stadium 2 for game number three, the decisive one. So going right back to Grumpy having a lot of space to work with. So now it's going to be up to Zane to not just lock down this Mega Man, but really be able to react to the positioning and chase him down. And especially, I think, ledge traps are going to be a really big deal for Zane in this game. For sure. Okay. Yeah, just again, like you said, doing a great job of controlling space, just not letting Grumpy get these like um, long range attacks that he's typically looking for. Just doing a great job of working towards Grumpy, but not overextending, just playing super patient and slowly closing the space in between them. You're giving up that ledge trap just to make sure that the Crash Bomber didn't become a problem. Nice aerials at a disadvantage. You've seen it a couple times from Zayn already. Jabs looking for just, again, a panic reaction that you can just go into, get a big hit afterwards. But you were talking about those edge guards earlier. Grumpy's showing them off again. Yeah, and adapting them to whatever Zayn is trying to go for off stage too. Like most of the time we were seeing back airs off stage to catch the, the side Bs, but instead, just able to go down in the drop zone there and catch him as well, so. Mm -hmm. but. Jabs into the charged rising tackle though, Emma. It's been effective, like you said, at the end of that last game. It has been the bread and butter for Zane. Yeah, really great job of firing back there, but here's gonna be some big damage output, 41% already on this fresh stock for Grumpy. Woo. Taking control of those platforms as well, keeping Zane locked down, now pushed to the corner. Big damage. I love that up at a disadvantage. Yeah, really good stuff there. Love the way that we're covering the platforms as well. Nair, great tool, but ooh. ooh. Dragged okay. you down. You were not ready for it. Zane pushed to last stock, although 81%. Mega Man's getting close. This is like one more small combo, and then we can start seeing those confirms. Probably nothing out of those jabs, but Zane's getting real close to pushing this to last stock. I feel like we're seeing a lot more Leaf Shield in this game two and three as well. We didn't see it a lot in game one, but it wasn't really needed just with how quickly stocks were being taken off stage. But I really like the way that Grumpy's covering his landings with using that, just jumping right into Zane's shield, and it's working out really well for him. Zane though pushing back into the corner with that forwarder. I like what you mentioned, right? It's just pushing that Mega Man, right? Keeping him in that corner can be so effective. At 120, we can start seeing those confirms available out of the jabs. That's exactly what we see. Jabs into the charge rising tackle. Is it Zane might be looking for it one more time. May end up getting the go mode active. So we get last stop game three. The crowd comes alive, but Zane hanging on. Is he gonna be alive? 
Ah, uh, this is so scary. Go mode online now. Oh, but doesn't even make it back. No! Not the way you wanted to see that in, especially with how well Zane was keeping up and adapting in those game two and threes. But really good stuff there to Grompy at the end of the day. Just that the edge guards off stage really shine through um, all of the gameplay. Mm -hmm. And I mean, right there at the very end, right? Like knowing, hey, you're deep off stage. I've got time to set up that crash bomber. If you're not going to react to this in time, right? Like it's a scary thing. And you saw if you had immediately mashed that up B again after getting hit by that crash bomber, you probably would have been able to make it back. You can see that Terry very quickly actionable, but kind of maybe expected a tech situation or something. Saying did not make that distance back. So winner for that, Grumpy. Good stuff to Grumpy, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever a Grumpy is, it's effective. That's We've all had I'm a saying. lot of Indiana sets too. Um, we have another one coming up. We have Wolfie. Not sure who Wolfie's playing against, but um, number one previously, I think the session before this last one, um, number one was a ZSS. I think we've transitioned mostly to Sonic. Um, so mm. kind of a weird change there, but very.